I'm not here to insult you, but I will. I'm not here to hurt your feelings, but I will. I'm not here to make you think that you have wasted 20 to 30 or 40 years of your goddamn life, but I will. Because most of you have. In the cosmos of time, there's nobody in the audience that is more than a fart in the wind. I'm not a more than a fart in the wind. Bill Gates is more than a fart in the wind. Unless you can change the lives of a billion people, and Mr. Zuckerberg, using that as a definition, has changed the lives of a billion people. But how many Mark Zuckerbergs are there on the planet? The world has changed, and it's changed because wealth, risk, reward, not. The way I was taught as a young man, go to school, may or may not go to university, work hard, and at the end of 40 years, maybe you get a gold watch. Maybe. Those days are done. They've been done for decades. Who's teaching anything different now? Nobody. Nobody. When I was in Poland giving talks, when I've been in the UK giving talks, in Canada giving talks, in the United States giving talks, I asked the same questions, which I'm going to get around to in a couple minutes. But basically, the kids are disillusioned. But they're smart enough to realize something's fucked up. I alluded to it last night when I was here. They realize their parents are talking rubbish, but now they can find out what's just going on online. When I was a kid, I would, first of all, there wasn't no online, and I would no more correct my parents than I would, you know, jump off a building. But the kids know that this system is bust. They know it's not possible, or at least it's very unlikely. Nobody in school, whether it's grammar school, junior high school, college, university, undergraduate or graduate, teaches you how to buy businesses, how to sell businesses, and how to show leadership. Because that's what you need to create wealth for you to retire on. If you can't do one of the, all those three, you're fucked. And I know for a fact, none of you went to university where they teach those three. Why? Because there are no universities that teach those three. When I went to Oxford, I said, how many of you had classes in buying a business? No hands go up. How many of you had classes in selling a business? No hands go up. How many of you had classes in leadership? No hands go up. And I turned to the dean of the school, and you call this a school of business? What the fuck? What you're not taught in school is really the ability to succeed depends on the power of the human spirit. Now, Michael alludes to that. He's more a human spirit person than I am. But at the end of the day, he's told me, some of you have approached him, does it really take 80, 100 hours a week? Does it this? I've never seen a high performance person that was part time. I'm gonna say that again for you lazy Dutchmen and Dutch ladies. I've never seen a high performance person that was part time. Never. In 50 years of business, 50 years of business. The $50 billion that I've created, and I've created a lot more than 50, and I told you one of the reasons we're gonna keep it at 50 billion, I just got a suit. This isn't it. This is $50 billion man down where the pinstripes are. I just got it. So we're gonna wait till I'm a, a, a trillion dollar man before we just bought it. So if you don't have the power of the human spirit, if you really don't believe in yourself, and we already talked about it, you don't have self-esteem, you don't have self-confidence, you don't feel self-worth. We're gonna explain exactly why you don't have those things. But I'll give you a hint mommy and daddy fuck you up big time now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls what if you could accomplish in the world today if you weren't afraid if you weren't afraid of what people thought of you said about you whispered about you what could you accomplish a lot more than you've accomplished today a lot more why do we care what people think? Why do we care what people say? And more importantly, why do we care what people whisper? Because we have no self-worth. We have next to little self-esteem. And we have no self-confidence. And how do we get that way? Yes, mommy and daddy. Life expands and contracts with courage. When was the last courage type thing that you did in your lifetime? Walk against a red light. Whisper that your spouse, your significant other is a bitch or a, a, a bastard. 
When was the last time you were given some courage? Some of you have to go back a long, long way. Some of you never. I said yesterday, I cannot believe that there are people in this audience that have never been spanked, never had a, a harsh word said to them by their parents, never got in a fight on the school grounds. I can't believe that. And you wonder why you are the, the way you are. Now, I'm not saying that um, being a high performance person is beating the shit out of everybody, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Blame your parents for raising a pussy. I said yesterday, when I was at Oxford, I told them about one of my mentees who made several hundred million dollars. Not one of the mentees, or excuse me, not one of the audience asked me, Mr. Pena, what was the name of that mentee? Why do you think they didn't ask what his name was? His name was Chris Kisakowicz, who started. Okay? When I was in Poland, as I said last yesterday afternoon, I, I, I talked about some very successful kids, and I said, Jan, stand up. He's 22 years old. He's currently a student at uh, Krakow University. He made a million euros last year, which is no big fucking deal to me, but to most of you, a million euros is a big deal. Not one single student went up to ask him what his name was. Jan what? Because if they did, and he's told them the tip, the secret, the secret sauce, they may feel some responsibility to try to do it themselves. And then when they fail, then they're fucked. You know most of the podcasts, most of the seminars, most of the very things that you study, you're not learning shit. Otherwise, why are you still here for the greatest respect to Michael? There's no reason. When you leave here today, after the q and is over, and I've already told you everything's free on my website. I don't, I, I, and when you see me in the airport, don't come up and talk to me. Don't touch me. I don't give a shit if you live or die. My obsession is to drive as many of you lazy bastards across the goal line as humanly possible before I die. That's it. If I have to hurt you, spit on you, call your mother a whore, I don't care. And life is not a fucking journey. It's only if you're a meathead, clubfoot retard. And for those of you, I'm not trying to, if some of you are, have uh, issues with retardation, I'm not trying to, uh, that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. It's a model. You find someone, as I said yesterday after, where, where he or she is where you want to be. And then you model them. You mimic them. You copy them. Same way you would if you want to be a footballer. Same way you want to be if you want to be uh, a golfer. You don't copy some monkey uh, that can't break 100, do you? I give credit to the man that I copied, Andrew Carnegie. Came up with a QLA model and didn't call it QLA because he, was a, he, was, he could have been Dutch, really. He was a meat, mean, cheap person that didn't want to spend money, so he didn't allow equity in his transactions. He only used debt, as you would say, debt. So he would still own it all, and that's all I did. He was doing this 140 years ago, what I do. Why don't investment bankers, why does an ING bank teach you how to do this? Because there's no fees for them to collect. That's why. Now everything has got derivatives. It's got this, it's got that, and everything is associated with a fee and another fee and a fee and a fee. That's why the world isn't being taught this, because there's no money in it. Now the next part of the equation is why isn't anybody teaching it anyway, like me? Because nobody's done it. They've grown up in the new investment bank world. I didn't create $50 billion by accident. So you've got rich people, right? Most of you aren't hanging, not chilling for those people, are you? No. Why? You've got all kinds of reasons, why don't you? I didn't go to school, but... That's what I gotta say about all those reasons. I didn't either. But somehow, I weaseled my way into people richer than that. In a good way. Because it was important to me to change my life. From being the barrio bad boy who almost killed his teacher when he was 12 years old. If success was important to you, you would have done something about it by now. But it's not too late.
It's never too late.